to learn the secrets of the coronavirus, and they may have just unlocked another one. Here's News Channel 6's Ashley Flette. The virus outbreak started months ago, and within that short period of time, people who are working against the virus, like doctors, scientists, and authors, have ran information that one local doctor says would typically take much longer. To infect a human host, viruses must be able to gain entry into individual human cells. They use these cells' machinery to produce copies of themselves, which then spill out and spread to new cells. It's got the spike through the receptors on the outside, which gives it that corona. Look, uh, those receptors are actually necessary for the virus to attach and la actually land and attach to the human cells. That then leading into the important role of an angiotensin converting enzyme 2 or ACE2. All of these human cells have what are called receptors, which is kind of like a reception area, if you will, uh, for the virus. Uh, specifically one called ACE, ACE2. ACE2 is something people who suffer from high blood pressure might use. Medical College of Georgia infectious disease Dr. Jose Vasquez explains why this is crucial information for scientists and doctors who are trying to compete with COVID-19. So these receptors appear to be the receptacle where the virus attaches itself to. Connecting the dots one symptom at a time. Because we have these ACE receptors all over the body, not only in the respiratory tract, but we have them in the gastrointestinal tract. Probably why about 50% of patients will come in with nausea, vomiting, or diarrhea. But Dr. Vasquez says it can be hard to keep up with something that hijacks the human respiratory cells to produce more viruses. We know where all of these receptors are and we see that the virus can attack throughout the entire body. So making those who are working against the virus change the trajectory of their focus point. Is how can we actually block that receptor so the virus can attach itself. Taking the science and technology one step further. So that way we could prevent the disease instead of having to treat it once it has set a shop and it actually has come together. Developing either a vaccine or a treatment can be a challenging task. But Dr. Vasquez says that the treatment or the vaccine has to prove effective against the virus and also be safe for people. In Augusta, Ashley Fletcher, WJBF News Channel 6.